we've got 14 drivers on the grid, two in the pit lane. The start light is going to come out now. And we've got five red lights ahead of the drivers. And away we go for the season opener here at Qatar. And you can see Chris is already being swallowed by the pack. Going through turn one, Dino Monkey and Razor Hyper, I think, has leapfrogged the other drivers. Chris, uh, out of turn two, has already lost the position to Dino and Razor. This is a not a good start by uh, uh, Chris there. And now Dino Monkey, through the first sector, is into the lead of the race ahead of Razor Hyper. Well, I'll start from him, uh, from fourth on the grid. He's also got his teammate, Pogdegi, alongside him. And was was well, start from Braun, who is second and third at the moment. Look at how hard Pogdegi is pushing. He's actually inching into the lead of the race. Poke is into the lead of the race. Who would have thought? He's pushing hard at the start with his hot lap on and he's going for it but I think he's gonna gift everyone DRS now here now comes Dino Monkey he's gonna try to make the move on Pirvana and make the move on Poke Deggy as well he runs slightly wide but now Pirvana slots through to the lead of the race what a brilliant race so far at the start Pirvana ahead of Dino Dino is trying to make the move on Pirvana they both might not even get DRS here. Let's see who gets it. The top three all don't have DRS. Instead is Razor Hyper in fourth. Who is going to get the DRS. And this is an amazing scrap between the two brawns. The Aston Martin of Dino. And the Haas of Pirvana. Piling on the pressure on the Haas. But then he's also got Aston Martin and uh, McLaren behind who's got DRS, here comes Dino Monkey and Stealthy the two brawns have actually dropped down to 5th and 6th at the moment and they're both gonna get DRS and down this very very long straight they can surely launch a bit of an attack here look at Bally Pepe who's deployed uh, that hot lap and he's managed to get ahead of Piavana on the straight there's three who's trying to make a move on Bally Pepe including Stealthy and Stealthy is now also scrapping for the lead this is absolutely entertaining we've got three four five six drivers who is fighting for the lead lap after lap the top ten is still within four seconds of each other as we see Pirvana kind of lose the back end of the car Pirvana does not have the DRS to fight him back but he's got a better exit now and Pirvana goes slightly wide that will compromise his exit a bit but now here comes Stealthy in the McLaren he is a debutant in SF1R and he's absolutely flying on this straight and he's inching ahead of Pirvana Pirvana is obviously going to fight hard to deny Stealthy from taking the lead He's also got to defend from Bally Pepe as well, who both of the drivers are piling a lot of pressure on Pirvana. But the main focus is to the lead of the race. Stealthy has now taken the lead out of Pirvana, and the top three has continued to change again and again. Stealthy is trying to hold on. We see Pirvana going very wide. Pirvana has lost out to Dino Monkey and he's actually crashed there and he wow that is a very uh, big crash from Pirvana and that is definitely the safety car so everyone now they'll have to pit for the mediums because they've all started on the hard tires and they're now gonna have to last for as long as possible on the mediums Pirvana is very unhappy about his uh, affair with the bump. Romza, I think, has actually came out third. 
and uh, Pirvana is now talking about IFR BC Karma. I think we all know what that means. Dino Monkey has now actually elevated himself to the lead of the race. Dino is actually going for another set of tyres. That is actually very smart from Dino there to and the other people who are pitting to go on the mediums and then go back on the hearts. They've now served the uh, tyre rule but then they're also going to be a bit down on positions but they're obviously trying to gain the advantage of uh, being able to have fresher hard tyres with better tyre life towards the end of the race the, that medium is going to be a big question so the safety car has now gone into the pits Ali Pepe can go at any time now When is Bally Pepe going to go? He's going to go slowly. He's also got to remember he's got this massive train of cars behind with DRS. And now he's going to bolt. I think he's gone very, very early there. And everyone behind Bally Pepe now has got DRS, including Dino Monkey, who's got his way up into second now. And into turn one, Dino Monkey swoops around the outside to take the lead of the race ahead of Stealthy. Bally Pepe has actually lost two positions and dropped down to third. Stealthy is fighting very hard in this race to try and take that win. The Dino Monkey is now in the lead of the race and I think he's now trying to pull away. Perhaps that fuel concern for the drivers might be a little bit less problematic now that we've got a safety car. As we see, Vagos F1 has actually jumped his way into uh, fourth. Where did he come from? The second Mercedes driver, as he, as I say that, he's gone wide and he's lost a position. Polk is really having an amazing race, but his fuel is a bit lower compared to everyone around him. He's on 42%, while people like Stealthy is on 50%. So I think, oh, Dino Monkey hits the sausage curb on the inside and nearly went wide. He's now conceded the position to Bally Pepe. He's also got a Braun and a Mercedes behind. Dino Monkey dives down the inside, try and reclaim that position of Bally Pepe. Stealthy and Poke are both on this back straight and trying to get the position off each other. Poke now is going to take the lead. No, Stealthy is back in the lead. Bally Pepe is the only person who's got the DRS here and now we're going to see how much that DRS is going to gain him. Stealthy without DRS you can now see the people with DRS and look at how much they're gaining. Vegas and Bally Pepe they both got the DRS and Surely now the drivers are going to have to uh, think about saving fuel as we see Pro Blues in the back end out of turn 3. Stealthy is starting to pull a gap over Back to the lead of the race is actually Stealthy and then Vegas F1. I swear he was fucking shit, no? Because right now he's fighting for the lead of the race. As we see, uh, it's far in the Red Bull has got a penalty. That safety car has already became heaven sent for him. But once again, he has ruined his chances to fight for the points, maybe. Stealthy, water bottle, the debutant in SF1R still leads but you've got Dino, Vegas, Pokin, everyone with uh, DRS trying to take that lead, it's trying trying to dethrone him for the lead of the race. Chris has now set the fastest lap of a 26.4 I don't recall what the previous fastest lap was 
but uh, here he is. Remember, the fastest lap does award you an extra point. Stealthy is still in the lead. Chris almost loses it, going a little bit too wide out of turn three. Stealthy ahead of Dino, but for how much longer? Here comes Dino, who's trying to go around the outside. Dino Monkey going wide and is still behind Stealthy. What a battle at this circuit so far. Dino Monkey now, with better uh, pace, I think has now creeped into the lead. No, Stealthy still ahead. And I think Chris there is actually joining into the battle. Chris is now ahead of Vegas in the Mercedes. Stealthy is still fighting. I can't believe how well he's held on to the lead. Dino Monkey is genuinely past Stealthy now. And into the lead of the race. I've not stopped a single time in this race. Look at Dino Monkey who has gone wide. Chris uh, in third, battling with Bally Pepe now. And Dino's is now going to take the lead of the race. Dino goes wide. Stealthy is invited back into the lead of the race. Stealthy, I don't know how, is still in the lead by the end of this lap. Look at Chris now, though. Chris has made it through ahead of Bally and everyone else and his tyres are substantially worse than everyone surely is now time for Chris to push after such an exhausting race we are now on to the final lap of the race deal with Romza goes extremely wide Bally Pepe leads us away for the final lap there's six of them fighting for the lead there's Ni nee who's about to get lapped Dino Monkey with DRS makes it through what a Brilliant, brilliant move from Dino Monkey. There's knee with blue flags moving out of the way. Dino Monkey made the move on Bally Pepe on the final lap of the race. He's now going to push as hard as possible. There's Chris who's... Oh my word! Dino Monkey has lost the car and he's lost the chances of winning there. And he's now slowing down. Is he going to retire his car? He's actually sustained zero damage at all. But back to the lead of the race. Chris and Bally Pepe. Chris is still ahead. And then Razor as well, who's now pushing extremely hard. And on better tyres as well. Here now comes Chris. He's in the lead of the race. Is he going to be able to hold on? Because Bally Pepe now has got DRS and so does Stealthy and uh, Razor. Here comes into the final corner Chris. I have no idea who's going to win this but I think Chris is going to stay ahead and win the opening race here at Qatar. Fagos F1 has managed to snatch a podium on the final lap. Razor Hyper in 4th, Stealthy 5th, Pico in 6th place and Poke has ran out of fuel at the very end. Romzo in 7th, Farid in 8th, Jar in 9th, Poke is in 10th. Dino Monkey is going to slither his way back to the finish line. Fireblade has finished 11th. Dino Monkey is going to only finish 13th. In the end, it was Chris, the Taiwanese driver, taking home 25 points for the Red Bull Racing outfit followed by Vegas F1 for Mercedes, Razor Hyper for Braun GP, and Stealthy, the highest finisher of the McLaren F1 team, followed by Pika and an outstanding performance, and then deal with Romza for Aston Martin. It's Farid's YT, go subscribe to him, finished P7 for Red Bull, followed by Jar, Poke, and Fireblade rounds out the top 10.